Welcome back to the NASCAR The Game 2013 Robbie Gordon Season Mode. Today we move on to the All-Star Race, so the points don't matter for this race, but I'm still going to go over them. We got our 10th win of the season last time out in the Southern 500 in a very hard-fought race uh, because of some late race adversity with some game glitches and some restart stupidity. But nonetheless, 10th win on the season in 11 races. I'm going right after that Richard Petty win record. Matt Kenseth sets second in the point standings, eight top 10s in 11 races. Martin Truex Jr. sets third in points. Greg Biffle in fourth. Jimmy Johnson fifth. Paul Menard sets sixth. Dennis in seventh. Travis Pastrana all the way up in eighth position. Jeff Gordon in ninth. Casey Mears in 10th, Marcus Ambrose in 11th, and Ryan Newman rounds out your top 12. Danica Patrick with her runner-up finish in the Southern 500 moves up to 16th position in points. And it's very worth noting that David Reagan had a rough go at Darlington. He's dropped way outside of wild card eligibility. From there, the last guy in points is still Travis Quapel by a very big margin. We move on to the All-Star Race, Stock Car Racing's All-Star Night. Back when the All-Star Race was actually cool, and I really want to get this victory. Million dollars on the line, one of the best qualifying formats of any particular race. Let's get it. The All-Star Race is a unique event that pits the very best NASCAR drivers against each other to claim one of NASCAR's most coveted prizes. I've got a custom setup ready. Custom race. This thing is going to haul for the all-star race itself because the all-star race in this game because i'm using 20 percent race distance 18 laps that is pretty much as short of a run as it gets so uh i'm really excited for this one gonna be a short video but we're gonna jump straight into qualifying one of the best qualifying formats of any nascar race i wish they still use this format instead of the really stupid format they tried to use at texas stop doing the all-star race at texas no one even wants races at texas motor speedway let alone one of nascar's used to be most coveted races they literally took the all-star race from being a big deal to just get rid of it is, is what moving it to texas did but anyway enough with that Let's remember when it was a good race. All-star qualifying is a little bit different from a normal race. Qualifying is based on your total time over three laps, including a mandatory pit stop. And I miss that old speed sign. Miss it desperately. All right, this thing is going to be loose but fast, so I got to make sure I can control it. Car bottomed out just a little bit. Slapped the wall. Here we go. Car getting really loose. But it is fast. 200. Down the wall. Kept my foot in it. Two to go. Buddy, you've got to come in for a pit stop this time around. If you don't come in, your qualifying round won't count, and you will qualify in last place. All right, here we go. Time for a four-tire pit stop. There we go. I did the reverse thing, but I nailed it. The crew's on the wall. All right, here we go. Back onto the racetrack. Got to sail this thing off in the three and four and hope it sticks. It did. Still found the wall, but we're going to cut the tri-oval. 16th. We sucked on that one. I don't know if it was the pit stop or me hitting the wall. But we definitely don't sit on pole. 
good, strong performance, pal. You're in the front half of the pack. Is that the front half? By the way, David Reagan is in the all-star race because of his Bristol win. Yeah, we must have lost all the time on pit road because I put down some good laps overall. Even though when I found the wall, I still set a 28 flat. That's around the ballpark of where they would have been. So I guess it's just our voluntary Dodge pit crew for our Ford program that isn't uh, quite up to par. Either way, I got my work cut out for me. Going to start down in 16th position in an 18-lap race. Going to have to really, really go after it because uh, we didn't do ourselves any favors. Would have loved to get the pole, but uh, obviously wasn't in the cards. Going to go after the million, though, because screw him. The all-star race is made up of five segments. The winner of each of the first four segments are placed in the first four spots on the grid for the all-important fifth and the final round to determine the winner. Welcome to Charlotte Motor Speedway in the feature event of Stock Car Racing's All-Star Night, the Sprint All-Star Race. I'm Mike Joy with Daryl Waltrip. Pretty simple, Mike. Checkers or wreckers. Everybody uh, builds a special car for this race because it's a special race. A lot of money, no points. It's boys have at it at its finest. No points, no problem. Some teams approach this race as bring home the checkered flag or just bring back the steering wheel and let it all hang out. A lot of fans, a lot of money on the line. Why not? It's the Sprint All-Star Race, and it's ready to go. It is time to let the rough side drag, and we're starting alongside David Reagan. Here we go. No boogity. Whoa, <laughs> almost wrecked it already. All right, here we go. Car you. Nice lap. We are good flying job. around this place. Check your inside. Car high. Brad Keselowski's off to a great advantage. One outside. Inside line's probably going to bottleneck right here. Outside. And yes, it did. But I got way too loose to capitalize on it. Car inside at your door. They're clipping the wall. You're good there. <laughs> Regan Smith just backed all the way out. Oh, I'm going to do it like Ryan Newman did. Three wide up the outside. Clipping the wall. Come on, come on, let's get past you. One inside. This is what I love about the all-star race, at least the way it used to be. You got to put it all on the line. Changing lanes every single corner. Your door. Yeah. Your door. Bump and run. Up clear. into fifth. Car three back. <laughs> that kicked Kyle Car Busch straight back. to the back. And we are flying. Air pressure's finally come up. There we go. That was round one. Got up to fifth position. Brad Keselowski, obviously the round one winner above Kenseth, Dennis, Johnson, and myself. I made a very good rally up through the field. I'm going to stay out this round. And I decided not to pit, but I was kicked back to last. I can't exactly remember what the 2013 format of uh, <laughs> this race, but I think I've been screwed by an inversion. So I both stayed out and got kicked to the back. Pretty much the worst combination of things. Car outside, at your door. But you know what, I'm one of those drivers who's like, screw the format, Car outside, yeah. I'm just gonna win. Car outside, keep rolling, keep rolling. On your bumper. Oh boy. That was bad. I'm wrecking. I was wrecking on purpose there at that point. I was not going to go without a caution <laughs> on that one. Don't tell that to NASCAR. This time, I am pitting. By the way, here's the astonishing thing about this. We're going to try to shove somehow five rounds into an 18-lap race. These are some really, really short rounds. 
All right, we come off pit road. We're going to be last anyway. Uh, Carl Edwards and Paul Menard are the front row. Great stuff, guys. Good job. In and out. It's all you now, buddy. Okay, it's time to push that pace now, buddy. Stay focused. We can do this. I don't know when the round ends, but it's probably going to end in like two laps. So, <laughs> theoretically, for the next round, I won't have to pit. Unless I wreck again. That's very, very likely. We're going to have to get up on that top this time. And Ryan Newman this thing. There it is. The beloved Ryan Newman line. Well, there was the round. I think I destroyed Brad, but I went forward. 11th in that round. I think Edwards probably got it. Yeah. Yeah, Edwards gets round two. There, there goes Brad. We completely destroyed him. This time I actually get to restart in 11th, which means I might just win this round. Yeah, I'm going to try it and go after this one. Outside. And Kenseth just That's aggressively it. swerved. Outside. I'm getting in there. I'm not you cutting anybody any breaks. All-star night. Here we go. Keep it steady. We're on the inside. Really flying, Caution. and somebody wrecked. I think it's Kurt. Let's see. He he hit the uh, the freak area of the wall that exists on certain racetracks, like what flew Juan Pablo Montoya across the racetrack at Talladega. A bunch of people pitted. I'm going to restart in third. Don't pass before the start line. Last thing we need is drive through. And I got to go after this round win. Because you never know when you're going to get a caution at this point. Car up high. Ooh, big swerve. One up top. Outside. One Ooh, outside. boy. Car's getting loose. Going after it. Wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. I, w I thought about wrecking him. So we bring it home second in round three. Round four, I still don't have to pit. Well, I guess we... See, I forgot how the rules work. I still got the win because Edwards won round two. You see how confusing the all-star format used to be? But anyway, I am going to start third in line for the final round. So I achieved my purpose... Okay, I'm last, so I might as well pit. All right, so I guess the goal of this round is to not destroy the car because we're going to quickly be restarting third for the final round and try to go after the win. All right, so I have to keep in mind, I don't have to go forward in this round. Not at all. I just have to baby this car and get it to where we can restart in third for the final round. Yeah. That's great news. Now just take it easy for the final segment and don't break the car. That's right. And by the way, that also means that I can pit before the final round, maintain my position, and really boogie on fresh tires. Car outside. Right's clear. I'm still going to run it, you know, semi-hard on this run just for fun. practice those moves I got to make go. on that final round. Five to go. And we are going forward Outside. fast. Three wide, two high. Four wide. I just made a four wide move actually work. Wow, that hole closed up. And Carl Edwards wants to win every single segment. Stay high. Four to go. Almost wrecked Four myself high. right there. Still up high. <laughs> Clear right side. 
I ain't lifting for people. He's right on you. It's the all-star race. Car tucked in behind you. Car slid big time right there. And you're clear. Ready to go. Man, Jeff Gordon. Got on the brakes way earlier from what I expected. Good, Car's right. getting loose. You saw it slip right there. It's a very much short run setup. We're but we're all side. equally going after it on qualifying setups. There we go. That's the round. Carl Edwards wins another round. And I guess Kenseth has solidified himself a spot. All right, so... <laughs> The top four for the final round is going to be Keselowski, Carl Edwards, myself in third, and Matt Kenseth in second. If I can't get first, I want to be third. So I think I played the strategy right because I'm going to start inside row of row two. Million dollars on the line. <laughs> so this could be big. And we got a pit stop, obviously. Mandatory pit stop. We're going to have two laps to go. We are going to have two laps to go for the million. How about a splash and a new set of right side tires? Okay, let's do this. I want yeah. four. I want four tires. I want everything. I'm guaranteed to restart third. Give me it all. I guess we still would have been first off, which is the funny thing. All right. I pitted and took on four, and it looks like everybody else didn't do anything. Screw him. They were too nice. stupid to put on tires. Like Two laps to go for the million. Let's go get these boys. Let's get it. Okay. I'm definitely going to give it all. Car outside. Brad Wiglin. Outside. Car up top. Keep digging. Car outside, yeah. There we go. I just cleared Carl. Going to sail it off in the turn three. Me and Brad once again. Car one back. Clear. Made it happen. Here we come, nobody wreck. White flag. Make it count now. Here we go. One more time. Might as well slam the wall as hard as possible. The million will cover it. Here we come. All-star race win. Screw him. We got it. We didn't have to even run good. We didn't have to qualify good. I wrecked Dennis. We got it. Man, you showed him. Great job. No burnout, I guess. That's kind of disappointing not to get a burnout or, uh, you know, victory celebration. But you know what? We did it. We showed up when it counted, and we pretty much screwed over the whole field, which thought that we <laughs> most certainly weren't competitive enough to steal the million on the last restart, but we got it. Brad Keselowski, you know, pole sitter and all that, wasn't much competition for us. Don't know why nobody put on four tires, though. If you're guaranteed a starting position, take four. Matt Kenseth takes home a third place finish. Jeff Gordon up into fourth. Carl Edwards dominated this race, finished in fifth. Shout out to David Reagan. Won that fluke, stupid race at Bristol to get himself in the all-star race. Capitalized with a sixth-place finish. That's big money. Casey Kane, seventh. Rocket Man, eighth. Jimmy Johnson, ninth. Harvick in tenth. Paul Menard, eleventh. Kyle Busch in twelfth. Trevor Main, thirteenth. Dennis in fourteenth. Marcos, fifteenth. Dale Jr., sixteenth. Tony Stewart, seventeenth. Kurt Busch in eighteenth. And Regan Smith rounds out your field. Well, when it comes to the main series that is this whole Robbie Gordon season mode. That was kind of a meaningless diversion in many ways. You know, it doesn't affect the point standings or anything. But either way, it was a very fun race. A uh, lot of confusion from my part about the format. But uh, I only needed to lead two laps. Really only needed to lead only one. But uh, two laps led out of 18. All-star race win. Pride gained and money earned. Two best things in racing. And uh, yet another trophy to add to the trophy case of this season. Only one race we've even done in this whole series 
that we haven't yet won. We got to go after that Richard Petty win record. Point standings aren't any different because, you know, this is the all-star race. It's an on-points race. So, anyway, that does it for this episode of the NASCAR The Game 2013 Robbie Gordon Season Mode. All-star race exhibition. Yet another win. And uh, next race is the Coke 600. Another crown jewel. Very critical race to win, and I bet the AIs are going to wreck a lot in that one. So it's it's probably going to take quite a while. So anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this little bit of a diversion from the uh, normal races of the season. Every race from here to the championship, though, is four points. Uh, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I've got a Patreon set up as well. And a lot more Robbie Gordon Season Mode content coming up, as well as whatever else I come up with for this channel. So stay tuned. By the way, I just want to try something with this footage here. It's, it's too choice not to try it. But they make it, and Stewart closes right oh, up. Oh, and, a, and a, a nice little bump draft down the back at Charlotte Motor, or Lowe's Motor Speedway. You Way to go. see that, and step in the All-Star Rising. All the way up against the wall, there's still three. Middle He's three. got him. He's got him. Oh, oh there, there we go. go. Keep your foot in it. Keep your foot in it. Still Keep your going. foot in it. Ah!